This podcast is sponsored by RSE Management Consulting, Inc. Richard has been my accountant for five years and our relationship has grown into an incredible friendship. He now serves over 60 members in my business. The firm specializes in corporate tax, financial bookkeeping, and management advisory services for small and medium-sized businesses. His expertise is helping his clients manage the intricacies of tax law and teaching small and medium-sized businesses how to navigate the tough landscape of tax. If you want to hear more, you can go and listen to episode 203. I interviewed Richard on my podcast. The value that he has given to me over the last five years to me is truly priceless. He will work with you to create an action plan in order to organize your business finances, which in turn affects you personally in so many amazing ways that you didn't even know. You can email him at reidelberg, R-E-I-T-E-L-B-E-R-G at R-S-E. M G T C O N dot com, or you can call him directly at his office, area code 631 623 2400. You can also visit R S E M G T C O N dot com to contact and learn more. And we will upload all this information to the show notes as well. Hello, friends. Welcome to Level Up with Debbie Neal. I am your host. There is nowhere I would rather be than right here, right now with you. This podcast is all about leveling up in all aspects of our lives. Thank you for being here. I am so grateful. I'm excited to be on this journey with you. Together, we are leveling up. You ready? Hello, my Level Up friends. I hope you are really amazing and ready to conquer the rest of 2024 with so much power, so much abundance. Now, you could be listening to this at any point, but when this is getting dropped, it's the beginning of October. We have October, we have November, we have December, and today we're going to be talking about closing your month three times. Now, Many of you that are listening are network marketers. You might not be, okay? But if you're not, you still can apply what we're going to talk about so much because it is about leveling up. It's about becoming better, okay? So many of you might be thinking, like, what in the world is she talking about? Like, when I think about the close, I think about it as one day and it's the last day of the month, okay? Here's the reality. Until you train yourself, until you train your mind, that the month closes three times, you are never going to truly understand the energy and the momentum that it takes to build to the top levels in your company. Okay. Now, again, you can go see the earning statement for any company that you're aligned with to see what's typical, but I'm always here to talk about what's possible. And so when we're talking about what's possible, it's about you leveling up. It's about you evolving. It's about you becoming more. And too often we think if it's meant to be, it's going to happen. I'm going to leave it up to God, right? Or maybe I'm going to leave it up to, you know, the next person joining my business. I'm going to tell you this. Okay. We actually talked a lot about God on my last episode. God did his part. He gave you the ability to develop skills. He brought this opportunity into your life. He gave you courage. He gave you faith. He gave you the ability to become who you're meant to be in the world. He's also going to give you lessons to grow these skills, to become this person. You have to do your part. So leaving it up to God is an excuse. Leaving it up to a season or a person is not leadership. Momentum is built on leadership and leaders are urgent. Leaders set goals. Leaders follow through. Leaders practice in the dark. And one of the things they practice is goal setting, not only goal setting, but getting a focused and obsessed and trained to accomplish that goal. Building discipline around the goal, creating urgency around the goal, applying extraordinary effort toward the goal, having unwavering faith that they're meeting the goal. You build these by closing your month three times. Setting a goal is one thing. 
Having the desire to achieve it is one thing. Having the discipline to follow through is one of those things that separate the best from the rest. This is something that's developed when you're closing your month three times. When I started my business 18 years ago, I knew nothing about the network marketing profession. I never sold a thing in my life. I had never built a team. What I did have that I was able to apply, and of course we all have many things, but I was, I, I did play competitive sports and that did teach me discipline. And that's one of the reasons why I say don't compare because we all bring something special and unique to the table. But even that discipline didn't teach me the ability to set goals and get hungry and obsessed. So when we promoted, talking about my business, we promoted to the top level in my company, me, when I say we as a team, okay? I woke up on the last day of the month, that particular month, it was November 2006, and me and my team needed a really good amount of sales volume. But you know what was happening for the prior five months? For the five months prior, I was building the skill of the close. I was setting for myself, we all know in this profession, we have a month to achieve a goal. We also know that the sooner we achieve a goal in that month is now giving us the ability that we're growing through the goal. The idea is to go through a level. The idea is to always level up. You don't need 30 or 31 days most of the time, okay? So to build this, I was setting 24 and 48-hour goals. And in those 24 to 48-hour goals, I was like, it's the end of the month. 24 hours is the end of the month. 48 hours is the end of the month. And then in addition to the 24 to 48 hour goals, I closed my month three times. Let me tell you guys, if you've ever gone for a really big level in your business and you've achieved it, I want you to think of what you created on that particular day, whatever day that you accomplished it. Okay. For a lot of people, it's the last day of the month. What was the sales volume? What was the energy? What was the momentum? What was the follow through? What was the no matter what? What was just like the crazy stuff that went on? What if you did that for 30 days? What if you did that for 30 days? Okay. So one of the reasons I look back at my business, I treated every single one of the closes, the three times a month, and I treated the 24 to 48 hour goals like it was the last day of the month. That's how athletes trained. That's how it's a habit to build. It's a habit that you want to, that's going to help you create a, a big business. It starts with smaller goals. It's building the habit that's compounded over time. So let's talk about this. Your month closes three times. Your first close is the 15th of the month. The next close is, let's say it's the 24th, but it's one week out from the last day. So look at the last day of the month, go back seven days, whether that's the 24th, you know, depending on how many days you're in the month. Okay. It's a week before the actual close. And then it's the close, which is the last day of the month. So what does this do? What does this do if you make like the 15th is the close? It sets goals. You're setting goals. It's creating urgency. It's creating a deadline and it's building those habits we've talked about. So if you've ever achieved a management level, right? Chance, chances are you've, have, you've experienced that month end energy. And again, just like I said, what would it look like if you set 24 to 40 hour goals and then you did more? So I want you to have a monthly goal. Let's start off. It's, it's October when this is being released, but you could be listening to this any point. Okay. You have a monthly goal. Now I also want to say this. So often we think, oh, I'm at this title. The next goal is the next title. And the next goal is the next title. No, that's not the case. You want to have a goal every single month. So you want to, I don't know, if maintenance for one of your levels is, I, I'm just making up a number. Let's say it's $3,000. And then the next level is, let's say, $12,000, okay? You, wh why not, if you go for three, and then how about the next month, go for four, and then five, and then seven, and then like, right, and actually work your business every single month like you're working towards a promotion. That's how you're going to build steady and solid and wide to your next goal. So whatever your monthly goal is for this month, okay, I want you to break it up, okay? So, because let's say let's say your goal is $10,000 in sales. Let's just throw that out there, okay? Typically, not always, typically, not always, go see your earnings statement, numbers triple by the end of the month. Now, sales don't triple, but like activity triples, enroll numbers if if you have a healthy business that's selling and 
scheduling and enrolling and growing and just good stuff going on. Numbers typically triple in a month. So if you have a monthly goal of $10,000 in sales, I would say that your minimum goal of by the 15th is 3,500. Does that make sense? We kind of took the 10, we divided it by three, we got 3,500. Okay. So let's say your goal is 20,000. You're in a month, you're 20,000 is your goal this month. Okay. Now we're going to divide that by three and we're going to aim for 7,000 mid-month. Okay. So I want you to make up your mind that the mid-month goal is the goal. Like if you're on that mission to hit that 7,000 by the mid-month, I want you to embody yourself. Think about what the top level is in your company. Think about what the average monthly income is. Think about what it's going to do to your lifestyle. And I want you to take that 7,000 or the 3,500, whatever the number is for you, and be like, if I achieve this goal by the 15th, I'm at the top of my company. Because if that was the truth, would you do everything next to like, I don't even know what to achieve that goal? You would, but you got to play games with your mind here. Okay. Make up your mind that the mid-month goal is the goal and the effort that you're going to put in, the faith that you're going to have. You're not going to work on emotion because let's say you're aiming for that 3,500 and two days before you're at a thousand in sales. What is the logical mind going to say? You're off target next month. Like I guess those of you that are next month in it, next month in it, you're going to next decade it. Okay. Let's just, let's just, let's just put it all out there on the table. Okay. So I want you to be committed to that mid-month goal. And I want you to say to yourself, when I do that 3,500 or when I do that 7,000, again, whatever that number is for you, I am at the top of my company. I'm promoting to the top of my company. If that was the truth, do you think you can go from a thousand to 3,500? Do you? Like, what kind of effort would you put in? What kind of phone calls would you make? Would you work on, like, don't work on emotion because emotionally you feel far. Work on your commitment. You're going to show up differently, right? You're going to talk differently. You're going to coach differently. So in that space is where the new business shows up. Like when you have this unwavering faith, it's like, oh my God, and you know it's happening. It's like you have a different level of energy. You're not in a victim mode. You're in a, you're in a victory mode. Like I'm doing this, Okay. So that's when new people show up in your business because you're so open, you're so abundant, you're so knowing. New skills get developed, a new level of influence get developed because a lot of times you have a team and we rise by lifting others. So you're having bigger conversation. That new level of leader is going to emerge. Becoming a leader is a process. Okay. So then let's say you do the 7,000 or the 3,500. Let's say you hit it. Great. Now, immediately, you know, you go for that number for the 20, you're working towards that number. Let's say you miss it. Let's say you're going for the seven and you hit five. Now you apply more effort. You got that next goal, the 24th. You got that next goal. So you're setting those numbers and you're going to work with, you know, whoever works above you. Because I I can't really give numbers because we're all in different companies. We all have different things. It's just going to confuse you. Okay. But I want you to understand the concept of closing your month three times. The goal for that mid-month is to hit it or surpass it. If you fall short of it, you stand in your goal. And now you work harder. Because that's what I'm like, oh, you know, Debbie told me this is my number by mid-month. I'm not there. All right. Are you willing to work twice as hard? Are, are you willing to put in more effort? Have more faith, okay? Be obsessed to pass your goal. See, see months as rolling months. It's like rolling months. Too often we're in, we're out, we feel off target, we sit on the sidelines, we get distracted, we make our why our excuse. And, and we, it's ridiculous. See months as rolling. Ro- and I've talked about this in so many episodes, okay? So we talked about the numbers above. If your goal is 10,000, let's say you were going for that, that, that month, right? You're going, you're giving it every single thing you have and you do, you do 8,000 instead of 10,000. Okay. Most see that as a miss. They're like, I worked so hard and I missed my goal. Friends, that's not a miss. That's chance. Again, we're not just goal focused. We want to be growth focused. Oh, and that's what I mean about rolling months. So so you miss the 10. I understand that was the goal, but eight is pretty amazing. So if your goal was 20 and let's say you give it every single thing you have and and you don't release the effort and you don't release the faith and you close your month three times and you're becoming better and you do 15,000 versus the 20, 
chances are that's probably your best month. Do it again. And that's, and then what's going to happen the next month, there are no guarantees. See your earning statement. But when you're building up this kind of momentum, you probably will go past 20 the next month. Does that make sense? So you, where you fell short this month, but you're building with so much momentum and then reclosing your month three times next month, chances are now you have more customers, a bigger team, more people working towards goals. You've grown your leadership. You've grown your vision. You've grown your level of influence. You've grown your level of conversations. And now next month, you have two choices. You roll or you just, I set a goal and I missed it. Okay. So every single month you should have a goal and that is growth mode versus goal mode. A rank is not always the next level. It's all of those numbers in between. So train your mind for every single close. When we do that, right? When we, when we're closing that month, three times, and we have these numbers that we're committed to and we're doing it, we're not procrastinating. We're not leaving things for the last minute. Okay. We're, what, what's happening is we're either creating that mid month target. We're creating the activity that's going to, you know, cause let's just say you, 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 you go, you know, I don't want to say balls to the wall, but you go crazy and you meet, meet that mid-month goal. Now, all of a sudden, maybe you were a team of one when you started or a team of four, and all of a sudden you're a team of three or a team of seven or a team of 10. Now there's more people working towards that bigger goal. So train your mind for every one of these calls. Go- closes. Because when you do that, the conversations are bigger, the energy is different, so much happens, and we rise by lifting others. I want you to create in your mind that the 15th of this month is your month end. Okay. And let's be very, very honest. We all waste time. What we do in 30 days, most of us can do in 15 days, especially before we build a big team. Okay. So we spend so much time thinking. We spend so much time scrolling. We wondering if it's a good time to call people. We don't succeed when we believe it's going to happen when it's meant to be. We succeed when we want it so badly that we're willing to step out of our comfort zone to create that. Goals and vision light the fire in your belly. Without a goal, we wander. Without a vision, we perish. And so often we think that the next level is just the next goal. And it comes down to closing your month three times. Because all of that is the furthest from the truth. In fact, if you believe that, you're going to stay at a certain level for a period of time. You will always want to be in growth mode. And that happens when we always have a goal. And in order to achieve a goal, we must know what we are shooting for. The ideal goal is always to be shooting higher than what we need. Every new person that you bring into your business, kind of view your business is like you're building, you know, uh, you could be building a house. Maybe you're building a skyscraper. Maybe you're building, you know, whatever. Every new person that you bring into this business to teach them how to do the business, that's your bricks. Every single sale, that's the mortar that's holding your building together. Both are essential. Builders build, expand your business. Builders expand your network. Always be looking at what you need for the level above where you are right now. Okay. So that's why you always want to be pushing the envelope, pushing the number, exceeding your goal. Create this mindset that if I meet my goal by the 15th, I'm at the very top level of my company. And if that was a fact, would I do it? If that was an absolute fact, would you do it? Of course you would. The mind is powerful. That's how we retrain our mind. That's how we program our mind. That's how we build our mindset. We get ourselves into an energy of X excitement and excellence and vision. We would do whatever it took if that was a fact. So who do you want on your team? How many heartfelt conversations are you going to have this month? Like connecting with people's heart and their why. Ask people to come over and sample your products. Share your story. Share your company's story. Treat these three dates like they are the close of your month. Get excited cast a vision, create a no matter what deadline in your mind, closing your month three times takes discipline. Most know it's not a set deadline. Here's the thing. If you hit your mid-month goal, whether you hit it or not, you don't have a boss. Nobody's breathing down your neck. Probably nobody's giving you big accolades. It's called winning in the dark. But those are the ones, if you're thinking, ah, it's really not important. Those are the ones that don't grow until They build the stamina and the energy 
to close your month three times. The goal is to go past the number required. The goal is to stretch. The goal is to create momentum. So this is what I want you to do, friends. I want you to have the most amazing month. The most amazing month. Create the fire. Be urgent. Build the skill set. Do the work. You have it in you. Stop waiting for the miracle and be the miracle. I believe in you.